Hello everyone! In this video we are going to have a lot of different stories and a lot of different news stories. Keep a critical mind as always. I will always try to put all the evidence and proof out there. If there isn't enough then also you can search for yourself but I will try to keep all those things out there for you guys. And as always keep a critical mind and I hope you enjoy. Gerard T. Rexford, one of the Hollow Stars, is talking about, well did talk about, how he almost joined that agency, Nidhi Sanji, as we all know. Nidhi Sanji is a big agency. A lot of people wanted to join either side, and you go for the one that you can. Here's Gerard T. Rexford. He is a part of Hollow Stars, as I mentioned before. Here's another fun fact, idea, fun, fun fact. Originally, I was never supposed to be here. Let me just tell you guys a story. So actually, there were two agencies that I applied for in before Hollow Stars. My friends kept insisting that I should go into this agency because agencies like, you know, very good uh than others like better than other stuff like that my heart will always went for hollow stars always been hollow stars for me working for them has been like my dream come true i've always been a massive fan i got accepted into that other agency but i declined because i loved hollow stars more as soon as hollow stars like accepted my um audition i was like f you i'm going here even though i would like to have probably gotten like better stuff there or whatever my heart still goes to hollow stars hollow life in general i love hollow life i love hollow stars I never succumbed to the peer pressure. The peer pressure telling me to go there and everything like that. One of my friends and whatever, you know, you should go here. They were coaching me and stuff like, go, go get it. And, but no, my heart belongs somewhere else. And I think I would be in it would be ingenuine of me uh, to go there without having no idea of their history or whatever. And I think it would be just a sad time for me. I think it would be like very, very sad time for me if I were to go into a different place, like, you know, not know any of them. And like just went there because of the numbers in S. I believed in the Hollow Stars. I believe them. My place has always been here. So that is a big bullet dodged. That is a humongous like freaking piano falling in his head type of dodging. And because of the fact that I don't know, especially with the way Denoth was and things like that. I don't think he would be even as popular as, as he is now in, in Hollow Stars. Like, I think during the time that he was doing it, maybe it was TTT that was happening somewhere around there. But um, either way, it uh, would not have ended as well as it did now. He dodged a lead bullet. Thanks, Mark City Arceus. Uh, indeed, holy crap, he almost joined Nidhi Sanji. I'm so glad he joined Hollow Stars right away. Just to add, before he's Gerard, as we all know him, he's pretty open and practically fanboying about his Hollow Life Oshi. Can't remember who it was back in his PL days. Uh, so if anything, Hollow Stars really was the right place. On his debut stream, he openly admitted that his Oshi was the war criminal. Uh, he was a massive fan of Kiryu Koko back in his PL. I remember he said in his debut, his current Oshi is Pekora. Bro dodged a tank shell, pretty much. A big dodging of the bullet. Um, I'm not going to uh, undo this one here. You guys can take a look at it. It is on the Kurosanji subreddit. Uh, I'm not going to undo that there, just out of respect for Gerard and his PL, because Hollow Live does want the PLs to remain separate as they are right now. I'm going to take a look at it off sh off the video, but you guys, I'm not going to make it there. You guys, like I said, you can look at it if you want. There's ways of finding out, but I'm not going to be the one giving it to you, at least not right, not yet. And with Amelia Watson leaving, they're having uh, Hollow Live is having their shop pop up with you know last minute pillow cover and other things Daki Makura and other merch that's popping out now you may say something about Ame and here we go Watson immediately immortalized his marketable plushies together forever and here we go we have that's a weird way of saying it I'll be honest I'll, I'll, I'll be honest it's a weird way of saying it but here you have the gator handheld plushie the B Ame handheld plushie immortalized forever uh, B Ame is always gonna it always and forever the Oshi uh, space Ame pub mirror uh, Bubba handheld plushie, bonus duplicated handwritten letter. 140 US bucks for all of it. When it comes to that, it's $58 for the pub mirror, $29 for each. You save a couple of bucks as you always do when it comes to the actual complete merch set. And that is what always happens. You always save a little bit here, lose a little bit there. It always ends up happening that way when it comes to uh, the immortalized, uh, any kind of these big sets here. And it's a lot of wonderful things. Like you have this, you have, please look forward to a special message from Watson Amelia. It's a reproduction, as I mentioned. It's a reproduction. So it's not like she's not handwriting each and every single one. And here you have, of course, the Gator handheld plushie. You have the B Ame handheld plushie, the uh, Bubba handheld plushie, and the bundled sales, as you have all of them there, as is mentioned here. And of course, that is something that is um, going to happen when it comes to everything. And also, as I mentioned, the pillowcase cover is re-released. I guess it was released before and it's re-released. It is a safe for work Ame. It's a safe for work Ame. The illustration was done by Nabi 
And of course, they're paid for it. And, and uh, Hololive always gets commercial rights for these things. They pay for commercial rights for these things. 72 bucks is about the normal for a Daki Makura, um, whether it be safe for work or not safe for work. It's almost always that price, especially when it comes to larger distribution, because that includes, you know, everything on top of it and like you 30, 30 or 40 dollars that it takes to make a Daki Makura and then the money that they need to make on top of that to make any kind of profit. Watame is doing her happy stuff as she always does moving forward, moving uh, her dream forward of having the, uh, you know, the songs and the music and that type of stuff, giving her fans the happiness and herself right now, as of when this was done, it was tomorrow, but it's already done. So it's in the pat. It's already there. I waited until it was already out in order for you guys to see it. It is Shanti. It is the cover of Shanti. Of course, I'm only going to play bits and pieces because of the fact it is a copywritten song. It, it, that's 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 really nice. That's that she she's doing like she's doing some rapping. She's the rapping freaking sheep now. Holy crap. I don't think I'd ever be able to do that. But like, I like, I like the, 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 uh, the visuals of it. Of course, you can take a look at it on Tsunamaki Watame's channel. Right now, it's 75k views as of eight hours ago. It is an amazing thing as Watame and all the Hololive girls do. They do amazing covers. They do amazing things. I love these type of things. And also remember, whenever they do a cover, they cover the cost themselves. The talents cover the cost themselves. It is a personal project. It is seen as a personal project. Of course, they can get a 0% interest loan from Hololive. And also they get help from Hololive to get, you know, connections to the right people to be able to do the visuals for it, be able to do the audio mixing for it and all that kind of stuff. So that everything ends up being positive and, you know, perfectly done, as well done as possible. But it is a personal project. It's like that in any agency. Hololive doesn't, it isn't different with Hololive. It isn't different with, with Nidhi Sanji or anything. The only difference is that Hololive will give you a 0% interest loan for what you need. Let's say you need $10,000 for this. Not everyone is going to have 10K right out the bat, even the top performers, because they have expenses. So if you don't have that money, Hololive will front you that money. 0% interest, you pay it back with your a percentage of what you got percentage of what you're getting you know that type of stuff so that is what's going to happen there and i'm glad that she's able to do this and able to have another wonderful cover if is coming to korea the only korea that we will actually go to is south korea of course how live is coming to south korea's lotte v square stay tuned for further announcements so they're gonna be there uh the one in the middle does look like Sora. Who knows who the other ones might be? But um, they're going to be a part of V Square, and V Square themselves have announced. Hololive Productions comes to V Square in October 2024. First official collaboration between Hololive and virtual fans. Who is the root member who will make the long awaited first collaboration shine? Probably going to be Sora. Or, you know, Sora, Aski, one of those, probably. Because they're their oldest ones. I mean, look, there are a lot of people that deserve it. A lot of people in Hololive that deserve it. But personally, I think right now, Sora should get it because she is. One of the goats, one of the originals, one of the the first there. And um, this is one of the few times I'll say maybe seniority is a good idea. Uh, you know, not always, of course, but uh, Sora has been doing a lot of stuff. And uh, she's kind of one of the goats, one of the old school ones who isn't seen very much, isn't actually talked about very much. Sir Hala, Zero's Generation, Aski, Miko, Sora, Roboko, Suise. That's what you hope. Yep. If it's a Zero's Generation, that'd be amazing to do the Zero's Generation. They should. Gen Zero. Because they're the goats. They're the, they're, I don't know. It's one of those times, like I said, seniority is probably a good idea. But that's just me. Chair Expert is somebody that a lot of people watch. I watch them on occasion uh, because they have good insights. They are actually like a PR person, I believe, or at least trained in, in public relations. They are. Uh, they they kind of take like a professor route to everything they do. But <clears throat> this is expert armchairs Twitch unwritten rules for VTubers right here. Let's take a look. Sharing some slides from the stream in which we looked over some of the penalties handed out by legend Twitch bans, etc., like that, and things that are unwritten rules. One of their unwritten rules: S jokes or innuendos may attract a warning if S themes content label is not applied prior. Lolly and show to VTubers are not permitted to engage in any manner of lewd content. S jokes or innuendos. It's also a, may happen with live streamed art. Lolly and show to VTubers are currently subject to Twitch's youth safety guidelines and therefore may have additional restrictions placed on them regarding the consumption of alcohol on stream. Chibis may possibly be included as well. Exposed hip 
tan line stomach and or under boob requires an S themes content label applies to the streamer's model and possibly extends to all images shown on stream art or promotional graphics as well. Exposure of the feet, tongue and the raising wagging gyration of the behind is regarded as Twitch as S content. This rule seems to be applied more heavily to drawn characters and or media regardless of its subject. In case of wrongful enforcement action, archive your stream the remainder of your stream immediately. If your appeal is wrongfully denied, publicize the stated reason for your enforcement action and link to your archive stream. Any clarifications received through direct correspondence with Twitch staff may provide invaluable May, may prove invaluable for ensuring more consistent enforcement if publicly publicized by virtue of building a public backlog of precedents over time. So they may change things if you have enough proof and enough proof is shown under everything that goes on, but you do have to worry about all these rules. And what are these unwritten rules? These are rules basically that have been shown to happen to anyone that is streaming on uh, Twitter, Twitch, which is of course an issue that you have to worry about. Banning Chibi by enforcing the same rules to child streamers, really? Not sure why it's surprising. There are laws that apply to media in general based on Twitch's own rules. Too risky if a parent not understanding the context goes on hysteric witch hunt. Understandable by Twitch side, unfortunately. Yeah, anything that appears to be under the age of 18, like it, especially if it's like a preteen, that type of thing, anything like that is of course uh, going to be heavily restricted. Latest wave uh, because of automated system, which is easily mass reporting, much like the recent st stuff on YouTube as well. What happened to Iron Mouse? Both Twitch and YouTube need to sort out that system in regards to the latest bans and warnings, as it shows how easy it is to be exposed or to be overused or to be abused or wherever you want, to, you want to have it. That is definitely something that needs to be fixed. Will it be fixed? I highly doubt it because of just the way Twitch does its things, unfortunately. We have Captain Hannah, who is a meet, large VTuber. I was going to say medium-sized VTuber. She's a large indie VTuber, it looks like. A lot of people did not know this, but I actually had a part-time job. I was juggling with streaming. There are many reasons why I couldn't take a leap, including fear and uneasiness, but this month, I set a sub goal to quit my job, and I still can't believe the insane support. All my lovely chat absolutely crushing it and fear and my fear, uh, my thanks will never be enough. Uh, I'm nervous, but extremely excited to start standing and creating my newfound time. Thank you, thank you. So basically, they're no longer uh, doing that side hustle. They always do a side hustle, a lot of people do. Uh, thank you so much for believing in me and granting me your time. I'm eternally honored to be chosen by you as your captain. And here we go. Of course, that's a big thank you. And one new thing that is popping up for uh, Captain Hannah is announcing our special VTuber guest for Texas 2024, Hannah VTuber. Sexy, stupid captain commands the great high seas and possibly your heart while breaking the eardrums, of course. Explore the high seas with Hannah at Sumicon, Texas. It's going to be a Texas thing. And here we have it. Hyrule, and I will be attending SumiCon 2024. Yippee! I'll be doing a panel with Ellie, and I'll be doing a meet and greet, and I'll be signing stuff for you. For you. Poor Vu. I hope to see you there. That's great stuff. It's always great stuff to see. I always love pushing small VTubers and VTubers that are indies in general. You know this. Because of my uh, VTuber showcase, I do it every single day without fail two times a day. So check out my channel if you want to see those two. And those are usually at the end of the, the end of my videos. You can check them out. And I usually do have the links in the description of those specific videos, the links to all of their socials. So I, I am very happy to see that someone else is going to SumiCon. It's very fun to see this. As some of you may have heard uh, from me and other people as well, um, they had a N N J system uh, and J life had an art contest and they have the winners here. Thank you so much to all the incredible artists and participated. Choosing between these amazing submissions was the hardest thing. Here you had here, here, and there. Amazing submissions, amazing artists. <clears throat> the runner-ups in no particular order are, are these art right here, these pieces of art, all well done. Amazing art, all of it, from the winners to the people who were runner-ups. All amazing art, and she says down here. I'm so blown away at the creativity and artistic talent in the Ange Angelegion. I'd love nothing more than to do this again soon and continue giving back to the artists that deserve to have been seen and supported. Thank you for celebrating my one year anniversary with me. Congratulations to the winners. It was nice to participate, see so many amazing entries. Thank you so much, Jason. I went ahead and sent you a message in DM, so feel to check any time. Basically, yeah, just it is good for everyone to, um, to be able to do this for their community and to have the community do this for them. It shows that they have grown the community properly and they have grown the community 
to be a nice tight knit one is doing indefinite hiatus they are a vtuber who is a cupid vtuber here to make you feel loved and they're going on their indefinite hiatus as can be shown here it says it is with a heavy heart that i'm announcing the indefinite hiatus from vtubing the decision has not been made lightly and has been weighing on me for some time uh, i want to express my deepest gratitude for the unwavering love and support that you've shown me throughout this journey my time spent in VTubing has honestly been an incredible experience and I'm truly grateful for all the opportunities presented to me and for the people it has brought to my life. However, I believe that this hiatus will allow me to explore new avenues and opportunities that will ultimately benefit myself and prioritize my mental health. During this period, I will completely, I will be completing any existing commissions. However, I regret to inform you that I will not be accepting any new ones. Additionally, I will be conducting a mass cleaning of my following and friends list. Please understand that this decision is not personal, and I hope that it will not change your opinion of me. Once again, I want to thank you for everything, including your understanding during this time. I'm hopeful for what the future holds and look forward to the next day, basically. Uh, you matter, you're important, and you're so loved. That's one very, very important thing. Vixie, Taiga, other ones are like, they're going to be missed because they're a part of the group that they were always hanging out with. So it is always a sad thing when the person that you were hanging out with decides to go. When they decide to go and when they decide to leave you for whatever moment, whatever meaning, whatever thing that they have to do, it always sucks. And I hope that they will have a good time and they will be able to experience all the new things that they want. SumiCon is a convention that I had mentioned before about, you know, things that they're popping out with tons of different VTubers out there of, you know, various sizes and everything. So let's take a look. Me, Ellie, your crime boss VTuber, the queen of crime. And I'm here to tell you that I'm going to be virtually attending SumiCon 2024. I'm so excited to see you all there. I'll be doing a panel with the amazing and beautiful captain herself, Hannah Hyrule. We will be doing two truths and a lie. So I really hope to see you there. So they're gonna be two truths and a lie. And here we have Toma as well. Hello, it's me, Toma VTuber. I'm an official guest at SumiCon Texas 2024. Yippee! I'll be doing a panel where I talk about VTuber horror stories. Gone crazy, gone romantic, police were called. That type of stuff. And of course, Slice of Toma, which is a larger VTuber 20.1K. Uh, we have here another Suko. Howdy y'all, Suko VTuber here, and I'm very excited to announce that I will be an official guest at SumiCon Texas 2024. Yippee, 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 yippee. Come see me because I will be doing a panel with Toma on VTuber Horror Stories. So you can be doing VTuber Horror Stories, Suko VT as well. 39.8k views, viewers, and of course, Vexoria the Sun Eater. Hello, my darlings. If you don't know me, I'm Vexoria the Sun Eater, professional safer work and not safer work VA. I'm happy to announce that this year I'm going to be a special virtual guest at SumiCon Texas 2024 from October 25th to the 27th. I'll be doing a virtual meet and greet and panel this year, so get your ticket. And if you play your cards right, I might give you a special coiling that that is cute of course vexoria for all y'all who don't know she has uh i believe two kids and she has been married very happily married for a long time and yet she's extremely popular she's one of the people that shows that you can be married and still be a popular female vtuber so glad that they're going to be there in texas glad that they're going to be showing themselves and having fun and to everyone else who's able to go of course have fun there as well at sumicon Welcome back, everybody, to the VTuber Showcase. This one's going to be kind of a short one, but here we have Dominion VT, one of the guys. And as you know, in my VTuber Showcase, I like to give love to everybody, guys, girls, every body type, every gender, everybody available. Just trying to give you guys some love and show love in the community and because, of course, the community deserves it. I don't like the, the competition part of it, but I do love the community part of it, and that's what I like to push forward. We have Dominion VT, virtual visionary, fashion dancer, model, filmmaker, stylist, co-founder, and of course, uh, mentioning your know, black is beautiful, etc. This is their creations here. They have um, they stream on Fridays on Twitch. They're Dom Dominion VRC. They're doing VR chat. It looks like primarily VR chat. That's what the VRC is about. Dominic, long haired, ebony, big booty, Judy, as they call them, etc. It says from Chocolate City, where sexy meets sensational with unhinged, but forgettable. Join us electrifying Twitch stream for a pulse pounding journey. Basically, the whole spiel that they go through, of course, from sultry slow jams to heart pounding beats. Ah, so I think he's like a VRC dancer or something like that. And, you know, those have their own section. Of course, uh, VRC is heavily moderated as far as I know. And we have the creations that they have. None of this I can actually put on there, as you can see, because there is some stuff that 
gosh darn it looks very not safe for work so yeah we can't put all of it there but you guys can take a look at it if you want and uh that is thank you again for put, letting me uh showcase you here and letting me showcase your content and of course you know everybody has their things that they're going to want to do or not uh i can't control if people are going to watch or not but what i am going to do is of course put this out here and i hope that it helps you grow in one way or another Thank you so much for watching. That is all the news that we have for today. Please let me know down below if you want to know any more news or if you have any comments regarding anything that you saw here, which I will try my best to respond to. I love seeing your comments down below. Of course, as well, like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, that will give you more uh, information every single day. I do two videos a day, so hopefully you enjoy.